So hello guys, I will quickly answer the question also. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So I would like to show you how to take suit measurements. So whenever you want to take suit measurements, you get your tape and you get you have a client or someone you want to measure. So and it's most of those things are important when taking measurements, you ask questions. Sometimes your client might have what he wants, his own specification, and depending on the style you are making. So, so when you are taking suit measurements, you take the length of the suit, the length. So depending on the style, so for adults, most times the length is always around 20, 28, all down to um, 32 thereabouts. So depending on the height of the client or or the um, or the style. So these double breasted suits um uh, pick label. So most double breasted suits is not always that long, it's just after after um, your belt positioning just like two inches after your or three inches after your bed position depending on how you want it so the first measurement you take is the length of the suit so for this the length of this suit is 30 and a half inches so i take measurements in inches so this 30 and a half inches then you record it then you take the back measurement also so the back measurement is from the bone of the shoulder this bone to the other um, bone you always notice a pointed bone at the shoulder of your client where um, the hand when it where it joins with the shoulder so that bone is where you stop where you have a uh, slant at this part so you measure the back of the client. So for this, the back is 17 and a half inches. So after you taking the measurement of the back, you take the length of the sleeve as well. So the length where you stop. So you just take the length here where the ribs of the client is. So the next measurement is the biceps. Some call it round sleeve. This uh, muscle part of your hand. So it's your biceps. So when you are taking the measurements, take the tight measurements and freeze, ease it by um, two inches. So for this client, uh, the measurement I'm having here is. Fourteen and a half inches. So another measurement you take is the chest measurement. So when you are taking chest measurement, I usually take the tight measurement. So I usually take the tight measurement. So after taking the tight measurement, after I've taken the tight measurement. So I want three and a half inches to it. Is that clear? So after tight measurement, add three and a half inches. So for this client, is forty one inches. Or for this manicure rather, is forty one inches. I also take the mark measurement or tummy so it's very important for fixing so you take the tight measurement and three and a half inches to it you get the tummy measurement so you can as well take the hip measurement but i don't use hip while cutting my suit so it's important you note all these measurements you can as well take your client's neck measurement as well it's also important for fitting. So thank you so much.